Power Boat Television, North America's premier boating show. Here's this week's Mercury Marine My Boat feature. Fishing boats are great because you can basically treat them as a blank platform. You can add as many or as little options as you like from the factory or the dealer. But if you're on a budget, you can get the boat basic and then add the upgrades later. And this week on my boat, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take this 170 Expedition and add a couple upgrades. Hey Paul, I see you're getting started on the bracket installation. Absolutely, we want to get fishing. That's right, okay, so but I guess before we do that, we should talk about what motor we're putting in the boat today. We're actually putting on, we're installing the MotorGuide W75 wireless trolling motor. It's a yep. new product from MotorGuide, extremely powerful. And that's the key thing. I find lots of people, when they install a trolling motor, they go to the stores, is they purchase them underpowered. They it's go no, for price. They go for price, and a lot of times they regret it. You mean for a few dollars more, you can actually get the right power. This yep. one's a 24 volt, so it's got okay. lots of jam, lots of juice for heavy wind and heavy weed. Uh, and the shaft length is also important. You want to make sure that it's longer than generally what, what's required at the beginning because when the boat starts bouncing up and down, you want to make sure the prop's always in the water. Excellent. Okay, so I guess we'll get started on the bracket installation. Can you hand me the masking tape there? Yes. There you go. First, you want to make sure you dry fit your trolling motor to make sure you have the right clearance. Then, you can tape it off so you have a guide to work with and fit your bracket accordingly. Once that is complete, you can use your bracket as a guide to drill your holes and secure it to the bow. A good tip is to use tape as finger grippers in tight spaces. So I guess the bracket's the main thing with the install here, right, Paul? Because I know all Prince Crafts come pre-wired for trolling motors. Absolutely, and they're wired with very heavy gauge wiring, which is important for these trolling motors, and they use a good quality Marine Co. plug to finalize this, the, the installation. Good. How you hook up your battery depends on the trolling motor voltage. Since this is a 24 volt motor, we use two batteries and bridge them in a series. Now next on our fishing boat upgrade, we're going to be taking the existing Lowrance X4 Pro and upgrading to the feature-packed HDS5. And what people do, Matt, is they take their X4 Pro and they mount it up on the trolling motor area. Okay. So when they're fishing from the trolling motor, they're getting more specific and detailed information. Awesome. And now, since we're going from Lowrance to Lowrance, the swap out's fairly easy, right? Yeah, well, that's one of the reasons why Princecraft selects Lowrance. They're fishing people, and they know what fishing people want to upgrade. In this situation, the upgrade is as simple as changing the bracket and installing a simple power cord. The existing transducer that was installed from factory, actually, all you need to do is get an adapter and we're ready to fish. Speaking of transducers, I want to show you something at the back of the boat. Okay, lead the way. Here at the transom mat, yep. normally what we'd be doing to complete our HDS5 install is to install the transducer. Right. As you can see, Princecraft already uses Lorenz products, which makes it great. They've already factory installed the transducer, which was for the X4 Pro. But as you can see, Lorenz uses the exact same transducer for their HDS5 as they do for the X4 Pro. Awesome. So let's head up to the front and install the new head unit. Excellent. After that, I got started on swapping out the X4 Pro for the HDS5, starting with removing the bracket so I could feed up the power cable. Then you can use the same base plate and begin securing the new one. After that, all you have to do is connect the power cable to the circuit panel and you're set. Well, Paul, we got all upgraded, and that was actually a really easy project for a fall day. Absolutely. We started the segment off. We want to pick the perfect fishing platform first and then go with the factory installed options. Here we got the 170 Expedition. For about 1500 bucks, we installed the Lowrance HDS5 and a 24 volt motor guide trolling motor. We got lots of power and the ability to find fish. Awesome. We're almost tournament ready without really breaking the bank. Definitely. So hopefully now I can finally catch a fish. We'll, we'll certainly try. Let's go get the truck. Okay. 